Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. It is a cool winter's day outside today, but the sun is shining, so all is well. I'm going to continue the work on my marble pot today. What I want to do, I, I want to flip the pot over, so I'll do that. Like that. And you can see I've kind of roughed out the feet on the bottom. I want to lay out exactly what I want for the feet and then start kind of carving away the marble around the feet to get, you know, each corner set. And then I'll level out the material between them. So I want to get the right depth around the foot and then I can kind of, that'll uh, give me a guide as to how thin I want to go on the lower part of the uh, pot. Right now it's still very thick. So, so that's what I wanted too. And the carving of the feet might require some chiseling. I've, uh, I haven't tried chiseling marble yet. So today will be something new. I've got a chisel and a hammer. So I'm going to test the material out. I'm going to see how it reacts to this carving with the chisel. See if it chips away or if I can control it and carve it really nicely. So here I go. I'm going to start down here and just see how it reacts. Make sure you always have eye protection when you're doing any chisel work with stone or marble. Uh, if pieces fly up, they can hit you in the eye and it's Well, so far it's working okay. The real marble chisels have little teeth in them. This is just a woodworking chisel, so I don't know how well it'll work, but. It seems to work quite well so far. I'm going to put it down on the floor. I think this surface is too, too kind of floppy. And then I'll, I'll, I'll try and do some, you know, I'll try making a straight line across here and just see how it goes. I'll try cleaning up this line here. Uh, let me get my pencil out. And I'll just draw a line where I want the marble to go. Like that. And then I'll come over. This is just roughing in a, a foot for now. And I guess it needs to come down to about here. So I'll probably have to thin this foot out, maybe even down to kind of here. So it's kind of equal, equal thickness. I don't want to come too close because if I taper the sides, the foot will move in. So, you know, I'll just kind of remove this section for now. See if it works. So I gotta chip this foot straight here or carve it away. A little bit scary, but you know, I'll do it. I hope. <laughs> That's getting there.
Well, I think it's interesting. I, I think the foot is, you know, I can definitely carve away to make a nice foot on the bottom. I still have a lot of depth in here to about there. Very thick on the bottom. Yeah, it's definitely carvable, this marble, that's for sure. I do have to make a decision on the top surface here. If I flip the pot over here, So you can see inside the pot, I've got rounded corners. And the outside of the pot, they're square. It would be nice if the inside were square to match the outside or the outside were curved to match the inside curvature. I don't like the kind of thick corners on it. I kind of, you know, it's made of stone and I kind of like the sharp corners. However, you know, they'll chip too. Uh, this marble, you know, you bang this corner on something and it'll chip off the corner. So the round corners would definitely be safer. And they look quite nice polished up too. So, yeah, I don't know. I'd either have to carve out the inside here. And I wouldn't have to go all the way down. I'd just set the lip here to make that square or around the corner. So i got to decide what to do. So anyway, that'll be for the future. I'll continue working away on the bottom for now. That's looking pretty good. You can see I'm starting to get the foot shape. It was just kind of a big rounded corner before. Today was kind of fun. I started exploring the marble material, uh, seeing what I can do with the chisel, and it seems to be working quite well. I think tonight I'm going to kind of finalize the styling of the pot. Definitely carve the corner square. And as I said, I can do that just on the top and then taper it to the fillets down below. Kind of making everything smooth. I think that'll look pretty good. I thought about making the corners rounded and I think the square edges look more like a precise pot. I think if I get everything too rounded, it looks like it was, you know, made with a grinder rather than precision cut. I like, I like pots that are nice and precise if I can get them, like precision lips and features on them, not kind of more, more of those freeform pots I'm not as keen on, you know, for a formal tree anyway. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'll do some sketches. I might get a little more work in tonight on the, the pot here. But, uh, yeah, today was just sort of exploring the material, the marble, a bit. Seeing what it does with the chisel and the hammer. And, yeah, I made kind of roughed in, roughed in the two feet down here. You know, they're pretty rough, but at least they have sort of a foot shape to them now. Whereas these ones are just kind of blobs. And I smoothed the bottom a bit. That worked quite well. The, uh, the rasp. So yeah, I'll just keep working away here. And tomorrow, it's supposed to warm up so I can get outside with the grinder and start doing some more shaping on the pot. That'll be exciting. This morning, I had a nice Zoom chat with Carlos from the YouTube channel Bonsai Yeah. There was one point where on the channel I was going to force myself to write all my own music just using MuseScore, which is a free software. And, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to force myself to compose my own music. And I, I thought, you know, if I do that, I'll probably get better at composing music eventually. 
or I'll get lucky and occasionally you know, you'll get a piece that sounds okay. And I enjoyed doing that. And, uh, but it's very time, time consuming. Some nights, you know, you think you're going to write like a 30 second piece and it goes well. It sounds, yeah, that's, that's acceptable. And other times it's just not working. And four hours later, you're still trying to get some basic melody or something. And so I, I don't know, I abandoned that. I, I started using the YouTube audio library and, uh, they kind of expanded that so generally you can find something that kind of fits with whatever you're doing. He was asking me questions and we had a nice conversation so you can check out his channel. I'll put a link to it in the description below and check out Carlos on Bonsai Yeah.